Oh. 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 Awkward. What's up, Anarotax? Welcome back to Empire's SMP. Today, I really want to decorate the fairy village and I want to protect it. We could add some decor to the inside of all of our new villager buildings and we can create some walls around the new area to keep our fairy safe. By the way, did you hear the news? The Ocean Queen and the King of Mazalia are getting married today. Now I, Catherine of House Blossom, along with the other Empire rulers were invited to this wedding, but I can't attend a wedding without getting a wedding gift. Now, I have a shulker box on me and I've collected a few items which I hope they'll like so let's put it together here's what i'm thinking we can give them a block of diamond a block of emerald a block of lapis a block of gold a block of redstone a couple of amethyst shards and we can fill the rest of these spaces up with flowers i think that's a pretty gift now it's not time for the wedding just yet so i'll save this for later now guess what because we've built up a beautiful village we now have a place for our animals hello friends I, I know it's been a, a long time, but uh, you can finally come out of this hole. Let's just break some of these blocks and we'll do one at a time. Okay, now, uh, which way should I go? Will I hit my head if we go up this way? <gasps> oh no, we can go this way. This is perfect. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, look at my horse. You know what I want to do one day? I want to try to find all the color variations of the spotted horses. They're my favorite. But okay, now in this village, I was thinking that we could keep the horses over in the shepherd's building. I know, I feel like uh, sheep would make more sense, but I'm going to use these stalls for my horses. Look at them. Ah. I love. Now there's one more animal that I still need to bring over, which has been tied to a tree for um a very long time. <laughs> Oh, look at him over there. My donkey. Are you tired of being over here? Yeah, I bet you are. How about I take you to the village? There you go, bud. You can stay with the Fletcher. Well, now that my animals are in the village, I think it's time to properly protect this place. It might take a while, but I'm gonna try to build a wall around this entire area. It's not gonna be a big wall, but it'll prevent any pillagers from attacking. And for now, we're done. I love this wall so much. It's literally perfect. When you walk through here, you can't even see it. If you look closely though, you'll notice structures like this around the place. I tried my best to connect all of the buildings to each other. There's still a few spots that I need to fix and terraform and fill in with dirt, but look how cool this is. It's very natural and it's effective. Well, now that we have the perimeter secured, it's time to make the inside mob proof. Look at how glowy it is. I made this scattered dirt and moss path that has hidden torches everywhere. Hopefully this will keep the mobs away. Now before I do any interior decor, I still have a few things I want to do outside. In this open area, I was thinking about adding a pond for my axolotl. I've never shown myself getting one, but I actually do have a couple. So let's see, we'll dig out a weird shape kind of like this. We could detail the area with some rocks. For some color, we can add some prismarine stairs. We'll add in some sea lanterns and some tiny rocks. Now all we have to do is fill this up with water, bone meal the ground a bit, and now I can add my three axolotls. Here's bubble, blossom, and butter. <gasps> Look at them swimming. Now over here, I wanna make a well, and up here, I thought it'd be cute if we added a fountain. For the well, we could just do something simple like this with some stone, some walls, and some fences. <gasps> It's so cute and tiny. I love it. All it needs now is some bone meal. 
Now the fountain is also going to be really simple, but I think this is perfect. It's just enough to fill up the space. Now as you can see from the items in my hotbar, the last thing I want to do out here is decorate with banners. <gasps> that looks so cool! You know, we could hang some lanterns from these like we did inside my castle. Oh, I love it! I kind of want to add some more over this area going like this, but these buildings are a little too far apart. I got this. I'm gonna figure it out. Uh, so this is what I made. The only thing is it, it probably could have been a little bit taller, but you know what? It's already done. So uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it like that. Quick detour from the decor, but Lizzie's on her way over. Catherine, I have a favor to ask you. Yeah? Would you please provide something for my wedding day? I'm looking for something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. And I need to borrow something. Oh, I I've got a really good idea. Want to follow me this way? <gasps> yes, please. Now, this was a secret, oh. but um, this leads to my Ooh. secret treasure room. Wow. <laughs> the inner sanctum. Wow, this is amazing. All of my treasures live down <gasps> here. <laughs> oh, you're precious copper uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute what is this this in the center is my tiara and if you'd like you could borrow this for your wedding day yes please that would be perfect i'll just break <gasps> it out of its case wow oh <gasps> my gosh i love oh, it you look beautiful <laughs> thank you so much Catherine. i'll bring it back straight after the wedding and then i will also erase the memory of your secret room from my mind <laughs> <laughs> okay. My tiara looked perfect on her. I can't wait to see it during the wedding later. Now we could decorate all the interiors together, but that would take forever. So I'm going to quickly decorate the inside of these buildings and then I'll show them to you when I'm done. Oh, hello. I'm back. Every villager building has been decorated, so now let's go on a tour. First, we have the librarian's building. Of course, I decorated this space with some bookshelves. We have a cozy fireplace, some plants and candles, and I made an enchanted floating book. Oh, and for the most part, all of my villagers are pretty much contained like this, just so that they don't run away. Now, I didn't really know how to decorate for a mason, so um, I basically just filled this building up with a bunch of different stone that you could use in this. Uh, and yeah, the, the fairy kind of looks like they're in a um a fireplace, but we're just um we're gonna pretend that it's not. For the Fletcher, I kept it pretty simple by just hanging some bows, crossbows, and arrows on the wall. And then for the butcher, I um. I got a little creative. Oh my gosh, you can see her through the door. Hello? Uh, so this is the butcher's building. There's some feathers on the floor and we have some meat hanging. There's also some animal heads and we have some swords on the wall. <laughs> Cool, huh? Now over in the weaponsmith's building, we obviously have some weapons on display. For the cartographer, um, I basically just put a bunch of maps and treasure maps everywhere. Since the building for the leather worker is a little bit bigger than the others, I actually had space to add a seating area with a fireplace. Then to fit the leather worker vibes, we have leather on the wall and we have a set of leather armor. I bet you can guess what's inside the armorer's building. Yep armor. Besides this, we just have some cluttered decor like some potted plants, and this is where the armor is set up. Next up is the cleric, and this building is actually kind of like a baby church or chapel. So on the inside, I basically set it up like that. Down this aisle, we have eight seats for guests, and then I just added some more potted plants. Now the decor for the shepherd is a little bit generic. I have a bunch of cluttered decor everywhere, but I made sure to use some white carpet. One of the cool things about this building is that there's actually an upstairs seating area with a fireplace. The toolsmith's decor is also a bit generic, but I think it looks cute. We have some shelves with plants, a couple of chests, and there's a pickaxe on the wall. Now down in the fisherman's building, we've got fish and fishing poles. Then the very last building that I decorated is for the farmer. Look at how cute this is. I have some crops and seeds and item frames on the wall, potted plants, and some pumpkins. Okay, so those are all the buildings that I decorated, but it's getting pretty late. I think it's time to go meet up with the others for the wedding. Hello everyone, welcome to the Church of the Blood Sheep. You are gathered here today uh, for a wedding from Joel and Lizzie. Come on in. Let's go. Get on inside. Hello. 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 Congratulations. Hello. 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 How you doing? How are you feeling? Yeah, oh, sure. gifts. Presents. I'll see you gifts. Gifts. Hello. Oh, wow. Hey. Yes. Congratulations. Oh, to get married. Thank you. Oh, oh my TNT. god. Thank you. Yes. Congratulations. Oh, oh my god. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get married. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to take my seat. Everybody, please take your seats. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, everybody, 
Today, we are here to join the union of Smosh Beans and LD Shadow Lady. Everybody rise for the bride to make her entrance. Lizzie, Joel, we are Alex. so proud to be here to witness the union between two empires. On my left, we have Smallish Beans, King of Azalea, and on my right, we have Eldie Shadow Lady, the sea witch, I mean, the queen of the ocean. <laughs> now, Joel, do you promise to love and cherish and give as much terracotta as Eldie Shadow oh, Lady may need till the day you die? Yeah, to an extent, yeah. Uh, that's okay. not what you were meant to say. I mean, yes, 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 sorry. Yeah. Um, and Aldi Shadow Lady. I do. It's I do. I, I do, sorry, I do, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aldi Shadow Lady, do you promise to love and cherish and give as much prismarine as this man could ever need? So I do. long you live. I do. <gasps> wow. By the power invested in me, which is not much, I now pronounce you. Man and wife. Yay! Yeah! 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 He's... Wait, are you proposing to someone at our wedding? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just declaring my love that maybe one day he will propose to me. Okay. Um, Is this because you want gifts? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I mean, he's strong and he's mysterious oh, and so no. powerful. Um, I actually invited him here today to join. Oh. 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 Awkward. If everybody would like to come out this way, we have a lovely fireworks show as the sun is setting. Oh, oh that's yeah. perfect. Oh. Oh. Wow. 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 Look at this. Wow. Isn't that wow. beautiful? So <laughs> wow, it's very nice. Wow. All the empires here together in harmony. Look at us. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me. Not me. Who Not me. <laughs> let's get some pictures while we're all here. Let's at least <laughs> like oh, yeah. let's let's arrange we'll ourselves in front of the church and Catherine, get out of the spotlight. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like wow. Joel only invited Pearl and Fwip and everyone else's was inside of the wedding. 